The year is 1789, and America is finally collecting itself after the Revolutionary War. An entire Congress was elected, mainly men who were sympathetic to the Federalist Papers. They were given four tasks, setting up a system of federal courts, securing the Bill of Rights that was promised during ratification, establishing the Executive Department, and raising revenue. Each task was accomplished relatively quickly. Unlike how the Continental Congress dragged their feet more often than not, the Judiciary Act of 1789, James Madison's proposed Bill of Rights, Washington's patronage of his advisors, and the Hamilton Tariff Act of 1789 were instrumental in developing our nation's newborn federal government. Washington had an almost unanimous vote for the presidency secured, even though he lacked a campaign for office or any sense of modern candidacy. As the first president of the United States, he humbly accepted the position, noting, I walk on untrodden ground. Never once did he try to misuse power or overstep his checks and balances. He was a model for the men that followed for years to come. It wasn't until Franklin Delano Roosevelt held four consecutive terms that two-term limit became law, which was how long Washington stayed in office. This fledgling federal government, understaffed and underpaid, would lead the young nation to where we are as a nation today.